hello guys um welcome to this tutorial and good day to you um, what i'm going to show you today is how to use bootstrap on your web projects in offline mode okay so supposing you don't want to use the internet to access bootstrap um, with their um, cdn your bootstrap cdn okay which is this um star sheet we have here um so um you can actually use bootstrap in offline mode so basically what you need to do first is you need to come to getbootstrap.com okay that's the official website for bootstrap and then click on download so um, you should be brought to this page so basically you can just go ahead and download um, the current version of bootstrap that is available to you so click on download and it should download as a zip file to your computer so um, next locate um, that downloaded file in your downloads folder okay so i've taken my um, zip file to my desktop so this is the download downloaded file next i need to unzip this file so just right click and use your extractor to unzip the file so i'm just going to do that and So this is the extracted file here. Okay, so I assume you have a folder where you're working on. So I created a test folder. Okay, so basically within my test folder, there is index.html and then there's a CSS and a JavaScript folder. So what you need to do now is open your bootstrap unzipped folder and you should see CSS and JavaScript folders. Open the CSS folder and basically what i'm going to copy is i'm going to copy bootstrap.min.css i right click and i'll copy and then within my test folder i'm going to open the css folder and i'll paste this here the bootstrap.min.css next i'm going to copy my javascript file from the bootstrap and basically what i just need is bootstrap.min.js so i right click and i'll copy and then i would open my test folder one more time and then within my javascript file i will paste in the bootstrap.min.js all right so basically i can close these files <clears throat> what i'm going to do next is i'm going to open up my code editor okay so this is my code editor and essentially the test folder is open okay so this is index.html within the test folder and i'm going to add a link okay to connect my bootstrap okay so i'll say something like i'll first add a comment and here i'll say bootstrap file or something like that and then within it i'm going to link that bootstrap file from my css folder so basically i have emmet so i'm just going to say um css forward slash and then bootstrap.min.css okay i'll save and then next just before the end of my closing body tag um, i'm going to add a script okay and basically this script is going to link to the javascript bootstrap file so i'll say src and basically i'll say js because the name of the folder is js and then forward slash bootstrap.me.js and then i'll save so how do we know bootstrap has been linked to this project um, in offline mode so let's go back to bootstrap website and then i'll click on documentation and then within this documentation i'll click on components so it shows me different bootstrap components and stuff like that you know using the bootstrap class so i'm just going to copy this alert with a class of primary so the first one um, I'm just going to copy this div and I'll copy and then I'll go into my code editor but before then I'm going to disconnect my browser so I'll click on disconnect and within my code editor I'm going to let me add a tab and I'm going to paste the div so within this div let me just give some space so within this div there is a class bootstrap class of alert and then alert primary and then a role of alert so basically it's going to look like this um it's going to look like this guy here this simple primary alert 
So um, next, I'm going to save this project and open it within the browser. So remember, I've disconnected my internet, okay? And then let's open it within the browser. So I'm just going to do Alt B and boom. So we have, um, this is pretty big. So we have a, you know, bootstrap class in offline mode. So this is how you can incorporate bootstrap into your project and use it in offline mode. Um, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so um, for more exciting videos and tutorials on coding and programming. Um, see you in another lecture.